what to do or follow the cooperation. Now on this one, we could easily convert them. We could easily do 10, um, you know, rewrite this as the square root of 10 times the square root of 10. But the problem is, actually we could go and actually this is fine, let's do it this way. If you do the square root of 10 times the square root of 10, these are both the square roots, right? So what do we do when we multiply radicals? We talked about this a few classes ago. What can we do? You just multiply the two radicands, right? When we multiply square roots, as long or multiply radicals, as long as the index is the same, which this one's square root and square root, then you just multiply your two radicands. So I have the square root of 10 times 10, which is 100. Do we know what the square root of 100 is? 10. So that's your final answer. The other way to do this, ladies and gentlemen, is applying the rules of exponents. So since these have the same base, what do we do with the um, exponent or the powers? Add them. So I could say this is the same thing as 10 to the 1 half plus 1 half. What's 1 half plus 1 half? 1. So you guys can see there's two different ways to end up on this and where we're going to get the exact same answer.